What's up guys, we're back with a brand new video. In today's video, we will be versing Carlton. Now, shout out to everyone that subscribed. We've gained like 50 subscribers in the past week, which has been absolutely insane. So thanks for all the support on this series, and I'll definitely be continuing this series every day. So thanks for all the support. Can we please drop 20 likes on this video? That's been the goal for the last few videos. And when we've been, we've been close, and we've hit it a couple times, we want to try to get that consistently, hopefully. So today we are versing Carlton, we currently sit 17th on the ladder. We currently, we haven't played a game yet and um, everyone above us has already played a game. So if we win this, we do go to first position, which will be huge after we kind of started a bit rocky um, with two huge losses at the start of the year. But we've started to hit our stride now, we've won three in a row, Carlton have won two in a row. So let's see how we go. Now let's go into team selection. So we have decided to start young Gimby. So we're going unchanged, but I decided I wanted to see Gimby has actually hasn't got any minutes this year because the interchanges are kind of a bit weird on AFL 23 right now. So Gimby hasn't actually played yet this season, but I thought he's been such a great player uh, in real life for West Coast this year that I want to see how he goes. So I'm going to chuck him in the back pocket. He's played half back, back pocket, midfield all this season in the actual AFL. So I thought we'll rest Harry Jones, or Harry Edwards, I should say, because he's been he's been a rough for us. He's played the last three games. He's done some good things, but I thought maybe we'll go a little bit smaller. He is still 189 centimeters. So we'll see how he goes in that back pocket. And that's the only change we're gonna make. Now let's get into it. Straight in the middle. Hands to Gaff. Gaff from 50 and absolutely nails it, Andrew Gaff. Great tackle. Hands out. Nick Nat. Gives the hands to Gaff. Gaff. Oh, great handball chain. It can end with a Tim Kelly shot on goal, and he absolutely nails it, Tim Kelly. They're out here on the overlap. Hearn, just a bit too good there. Goes low. Cully. Fantastic work. You can go to Waterman. He's had a pretty good year so far. And he finishes with our third goal of the game. And find Liam Ryan. We can go one more. To find Jamie Cripps. Who would like to snap from this angle. And he absolutely nails the snap. Oh, great transition. And then to the Charlie Kerno shot at goal. One of the best forwards in the comp. Charlie Kerno. And he nails it. Elliot Yo just bursts through the stoppage. Oh, what a fend. Elliot Yo. Dazzly snags it. Oh, what a transition. Finds Charlie Kerno who can just run to an open goal, and he does. The Coney. Out to Cully. Cully can straighten up. And kicks it. Oh, Nick Nat. Steals the cookies. Goes along. And he can just sit under it and he has uh, open people everywhere. And Jack Darling. We'll go for a simple snap. And nails it. Jack Darling. Burst through. Goes from 50. All by himself in the goal square. <laughs> With Jamie Cripps. And he can just go back and slot his second. Jamie Cripps tries to kick another. Tries to get out of the goal square. Oscar Allen tries to burst through, kick a goal, and he does. Good kick. Oscar Allen tries. 
Oh, Jamie Cribb snakes one for his third. Oh, Gimby. His first real opportunity. Charlie Kano takes a great grab. Kano. They kick the Blues third and his third. And he nails it. Brings it back to a seven goal game just before half time. And it's the half time stats. They've been on fire the last few weeks. Jamie Coop's already kicked three for the game. Liam Ryan setting up the goals. Ten touches from Dom Sheed already. Some of the other stats. Tom Sheed, 10 contested possessions. Luke Shuey, McGovern. Let's get into the second half. We then go short to Gimby. His first touch in AFL football. Oh, and he makes an absolute mare of it. Number 8. Escape my mind who this is. Ball brought to the ground. Gaff keeps running. Sends it along to Oscar Allen, who can take a fantastic grab. Oscar Allen, he might go for a snap here. Oscar Allen, does he bring it around enough? He doesn't, but falls in the hands of Jack Darling. And now we should go for a snap. And he nails that one, Jack Darling. Oh, great little kick out. Did he go himself? He goes a little short kick over the top to Jai Cully. Who's been in absolute ripping form. The last few weeks. And he nails it. Oh, great mark. Alex Witherden. He's going to run the wing. No one's coming at him. If someone finally does, he lowers his eyes. He can lower him again. The overlaps is too much for Carlton. And Jake Waterman. Straight down the middle. With great hands. And wide again. Jai Cully wants a 1-2. Jai Cully. Says, get off me, son. Jai Cully says, I'll just kick me second goal of the day. And turn. I go long out wide. Gaff. Oh, and he's got the whole wing to move. Oh, the highs. It's an easy one. Jamie Cripps to kick his fourth goal of the day. Start this game on fire. Kicks his fourth. And Waterman. He can just run to an open goal. Let's see what Nick Nat can do out of this stoppage. Oh, and Tim Kelly. Too easy. Nick Nat. Oh, over his head. Oh, not quite. Jack Darling. What a goal. Goes long, Jack Darling. The line up, put this one through. From a great day, from an Eagles perspective, just like that, an 89 point victory from the Eagles, and we're really on a run now. What a fantastic win! Here are the stats. Pause if you want to read any of these stats. Look at the players. 
Jack Daly with four, Cripps with four, Waterman with three, Cully with three. Kelly, Shuey, Gap, Sheed, Ryan, Nick Nat, Mark, Slicks with nine. Rebound 50s, contested possession, Tim Kelly. Five intercept marks. These two have been fantastic. And here's the team song. And what a win, that's four in a row now for the Eagles. We currently sit on top of the ladder. We have a huge percentage, and this is absolutely fantastic. But next week, Saturday night football. Oh, actually, no, said Saturday afternoon in football, and we've got Richmond, so make sure to tune in to that one. We've had a fantastic season. At the start, it was a bit shaky, but four in a row. We've turned our season around, and we're ready to continue on for try to get a premiership this year. So thanks for watching guys, make sure to drop a like and a subscribe, and thanks for watching.